Edit 87. And then it kind of says Edit 87. It's kind of weird looking. It's funny how a program designed to help organize your life. Yes, yes, come on. I want to know what it says next. Is the reason why I can't be at the Labor Day party. Oh, yeah, because <laughs> of course it's not labor. But I'm glad we made the deadline. I'm glad you made the deadline too, whoever you are. I'm glad I cannot spend two stress-free weeks in good old Providence Oaks. Really? We're just gonna spend two weeks there? Moshi Mosh. Hello? There it is, Steve. Oh. Uh, hope I didn't wake you up. She talks. I just came home and was wondering if everything worked out all right. Hi, Steve. Yes, we made the deadline. That she was gonna oh, be awesome. silent the entire uh, time. So bad you couldn't make it. Hope you guys had a nice Labor Day party. Oh yes, I mean the band was great and Mike fell in the pool. <laughs> we were being sarcastic, oh, Steve. Got really sick. No way, Brian. And then he fell in the pool too. And no, Roy. Uh, wait. Ah, oh, well. I'll tell you Come all on, Steve. about it at work tomorrow morning. Get the story straight. <laughs> Afternoon. I I won't be there for two weeks. Remember? Oh wait, yeah, but uh. Do you really have to? <laughs> Two weeks is a lifetime. To yeah, who? Steve, I a caterpillar? really have to. But I will continue testing for at it. Oh, okay. Right. Awesome. Um, you know, I better get some sleep now. My plane leaves early in the morning. Okay, Meredith. Have a wonderful flight. I, I'll talk to you soon. Meredith? Our name is Meredith? Oh, it's 1986. So that explains it. Mr. Coleman. Mr. Coleman? Please, just call me Frank. We're colleagues now, after all. Frank Sinatra? Uh, okay, Frank. Thanks so much for making time for me on Labor Day. No problem, Meredith. Postal workers always have each other's back. Your dad helped me dozens of times whenever I was in a bit of a pickle. Well, I hope I can fill his shoes. He hardly ever missed a day. I'm sure you'll do great. You know what? While we're en route, why don't we deliver some mail in our beautiful little lake town? And show me the ropes? Sure. All right then, get ready to roll. Let's get rolling. Keep on rolling, rolling. <laughs> I'll shut up now. <gasps> there it is. Lake. <laughs> nice catchy music. Definitely seems appropriate for the area this where lake. It's always more beautiful than I remember it. I don't think I'll ever get tired of driving around it. And there's our first stop. Where are we stopping? Okay, sir. What's the plan? Delivering mail is like a walk in the park with mailboxes. Take this bag. Yeah, it's like checkpoints. Walk check to the mailbox and insert the mail. Simple enough, right? Ooh, very interactive. We I shouldn't do this. I'm getting my I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> oh god. I gave myself a little headache. It's telling me to look around. Okay. We <laughs> Oh, I'm so regretting it, but at the same time I'm kind of not. Oh, none difficult. of you got like, you know. I think sick I should be that. able to face the challenge. <laughs> I bet. Didn't you go to MIT? Yeah. I left here from Massachusetts 22 years ago. Shouldn't you get a job in computers then? That's really booming right now. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, I'm... Uh... Hold that thought. We just arrived at our next address. It's a package this time, so you'll have to get it out of the back. Who, who goes on vacation to just work another job? I mean, who does that? <laughs> Apparently Meredith does. Oh, gotta get a package. Right here in the back. Open the hatch. Yes. Yes, we will. There's nothing in there. Why is it empty? That's just kind of weird looking. Like a void. In the truck. Is that, that, is that how mail is delivered? You guys just have nothing but a big void in the back of the truck? Where's that technology been? It could have been so helpful in so many things. Why is the nope. USPS no only having this technology? That's the last of them. How do you know that, Meredith? Did he tell you? Were you guys having a conversation behind our backs without telling us? That's just rude. <laughs> You're getting the hang of it. So, where were we? Computers. 
Should I buy one? Yes, definitely. Uh, well, it depends on what you want to use it for. Bookkeeping. Oh yeah. I always make a mess of my tax returns. 1986. Can't a computer Not that do advanced. that for me? Sure, there are programs for that, but you'll still have to put in some work yourself. I was afraid you were going to say that. I'll bug you about it another time. Our next address is right around the corner. Is it? Is it around the corner? Ah, <sighs> there's no place like home. Sure isn't. Can't wait to get home either. The Mets are playing the Giants. Oh, Go Mets! Before I get out, <laughs> what time do I start? I don't know baseball 7 either. 7 a.m. sharp. Just check in at the post office. Okay, Frank. See you tomorrow. Adios. My, this guy is very cultured. <laughs> he knows some Spanish. And in 1986, that's a big thing. That is a big deal. Ooh, this is a, actually a pretty nice house. I wouldn't mind living here. Good neighborhood, lots of trees. Probably gotta fight a bear every now and then. But hey, you know, it's a great way to stay in shape. <laughs> Come on, Maris, get in. Wise residence. Monday afternoon. Hi, Meredith. I just wanted to let you know that Dad and I landed safely. <sighs> the Florida weather is all they said it would be. I'll call again soon. Oh, oh, one more thing. The freezer's stuffed with food and there's blueberry pie in the fridge. Bye. What are you Meredith, doing down in Florida? Steve. I didn't get the chance to say it earlier, but thanks so much for being a trooper. I know you had other plans for Labor Day weekend, but nailing the deadline for added 87 could very well be the most important milestone in our company's history. Enjoy your well-deserved time off. Don't get too used to it. Just kidding. Or am I? Uh, I'll talk to you later. Shut up, Steve, you slave driver. I'm pretty sure we're the backbone of your added 87. What is added, by the way? Is that a real thing, or is that just a made-up thing to do and put this game? Good morning, Meredith. Ready for your first day? Uh, obviously, I'm not a morning person, so I'm going to go with this one. Oh, yeah, I guess. Good morning. <sighs> it's a great day to be on the road. Oh, I already fuck. filled up the mailbag in the truck. So you got me yawning, too. To go. Oh, I forgot to tell you. There's a map in the cabin in case you get lost. Lost? Me? Never. Lost? Me? Bon voyage. Oh, wow. Now he knows French, too? Whew, Frank. What are you doing to me? <laughs> All right. Let's continue. Let's get to our job. Let's not fuck this up, Meredith. Come on, Meredith. Get in the truck. Why aren't you getting in the truck? Get in the truck! Do I need to hold the button or something? Okay. <laughs> that was interesting. Let's see. Okay, so we're here, and we gotta get all these packages. Ooh, that one's really far out. 500 Lake Road. 207 Main Street. Alrighty. Oop. Oh, what I do? Okay, I think I... Did I just teleport? Who has teleportation in a mail mailing game like this? Whatever. Uh, come on, deliver the mail. I remember this is the old Sugarman place, but the envelope says McGill. Must have moved away. Or, you know, something else happened. Time has passed. You never know. They not only moved away, they probably moved on. Alright, this one's a package. Uh, which one's this one? 207. Ooh, I almost uh, teleported myself again. <laughs> yeah, let's avoid that. Ooh, a teddy bear. wonder who that's for. Alrighty. Oh, damn, I think it's further down. Yeah, it's not this one. What is, what's that say? Pibs light or pills light? Sandy flowers! Oh, Handy electronics. So it's like that. A radio shack then? 
This has got to be the place. The general store. Or general things. And... Let me guess. Your name is Betty. You look like a Betty to me. Can I help you? Hello. Here's today's mail. Mm, new in town. Your face looks familiar. Well, I grew up here and then left for college 22 years ago. <sighs> 22 years ago. Back when they called me Nancy Sinatra instead of Nancy Reagan. <laughs> so now you're back, huh? I know what it's like. Oh, not a Betty. But close enough. Nancy's close enough to Betty, right? Actually, this is only temporary. <sighs> That's what I said, too, a long time ago. Well, we got a degree and everything, it's so... Rain today. It's been raining a lot lately. Yeah, you got a broken bone to tell you that? Photography mini lab. Photos developed in just one day. Ooh, yeah, that used to be a real thing. Nowadays, if you want to get your photos developed, it takes a... It takes longer. I think it takes like close to a week. Because... I know this for a fact. There's literally only two labs in the entire United States where they get sent to. One for the west side and one for the east side. Or at least in the um, in the Walgreens I used to work at. They, you know, they were contracted with this company, so... We send all the, all the films to be developed over there in the labs, and then they get brought back to us. So I think, yeah, it took us about like a week. I don't know, it's been forever since I ever worked at a Walgreens. But damn, this kind of hurts. But the prices uh, things are nowadays, this is, this is a steal. <laughs> it's Mr. X. <laughs> and that's cool, cool man. I can't say the full name, I'm pretty sure, because I'm pretty sure I'll just get, you know, demonetized or something. Okay, you got your bing dings and your, oh, big ding, my bad. Hi A, pop sting, pop sting, or pop song. Squeet. <laughs> That's kind of fun to say. Squeet. <laughs> well, you got a lot of cereal and just junk food in here. Is there, is there nothing to drink? That's probably in that little mini fridge. Okay, enough exploring. Let's get back to work. That's a big saw. What are you chopping down, girl? Huh? What you got beef with? Oh! Look! I caught the traffic jam! I don't care! <laughs> Look, y'all could just go right, you know, drive right around. Everyone does it. At least everyone in the real world. We just drive around them if we see them parked off at the side of the road. But we do it cautiously, because you never know what's around the corner. Whoop! Almost uh, ran over that stoplight. Are you honking at me? No, no one's honking at me. Who's honking at who, then? Well, it's obviously not me, because I had no car behind me. <laughs> All right. Okay. This is nice. This is very nice. This is a nice, tranquil drive. Right next to the lake. Which is a perfect place to drop some bodies, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Ooh, Moe's Diner. And there's Stan's Diner. What? No, it what, says Moe's. It's Mo's. Mo's Diner now? Why is it called Moe's Diner? I guess we'll find out once we walk in with the package. All right, this one's 500 Lake. So it's this box. I wonder what happens if I give them the wrong box. I kind of want to find out, but at the same time, I'm kind of a, I guess you could say, diligent worker. So I don't Meredith want. Meredith, what? I don't want to screw up. As I live and breathe. Come here, hon. Ah, uh, now let me look at you. My, oh my. A few lines here and there, <gasps> and the occasional gray hair. Why would you tell oh me that? Gosh. It's you, all right. Why would you do that? That's so mean. As a woman, you know they're very sensitive about our skin and age. Maureen. Well, hello to you too, Maureen. Oh, don't be like that now. It suits you. Does it, Maureen? Age only makes Does the it? person more distinguished, is what I always say. To the mirror. <laughs> now come here. Tell me everything. Oh, she's in denial. I feel like <laughs> I feel like she's in denial. 
Okay, one quick drink shouldn't hurt, right? Okay, one quick drink then. I know you're busy, huh? Little bird told me all about your temporary mail job already. What bird? News goes around pretty We need to have a talk with that bird. Here. So, coffee? Something stronger? I warn you, I will not take no for an answer. What's stronger than coffee? What are you doing, Maureen? Are you popping Baileys in, in the coffee? Is that what you're doing? Coffee sounds good, though. Oh, God, now I want a cup of coffee. Oh, my God, I'm becoming my father. No. Coffee sounds good. Thanks. Two coffee coming right up. And one piece of blueberry pie, if I remember correctly. You had one almost every afternoon after school at one point. That's some memory you got there, Maureen. Damn, girl. Oh, you know me too well, Maureen. Always have, always will. Ashley, one blueberry pie. Oh, God, what? And Ashley, uh, could you keep an eye on the bar for me for a bit? I'm going to take my break now. You're a real trooper. Does she have a ball gag in her mouth or something? Ashley? Oh, sweet Mary. What are you doing? Uh, is everything okay, hon? No, she's fine. She's fine. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> no offense, Maureen. But I'm gonna back away slowly. Yeah, I wanna Honestly, get away from her. First the roof and now this? Ugh, that poor kid is like a disaster magnet. Then why do you still I'm have her? Sorry, Meredith. Looks like I've got my hands full for a bit. Next time, I wanna hear everything, you hear? Uh, don't be a stranger now. I don't know. With Ashley there, I might just try to be a stranger. I feel like she's gonna blow up the place from the things you mentioned. First she falls through the ceiling and now... She's causing a fire in the kitchen? Yeah, not a, not a good track record there, in my opinion, you know? <laughs> oh, I heard the car creak. Ah, uh, this old thing can't handle the job like it used to, huh? Alrighty. Well, down the road we go. To the next place. You know what's the best part about doing these videos? is that I can go ahead and clip this to the next section. Welcome to the next section. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? It's kind of like teleportation, but you know, through time. Whoa, right? <laughs> oh wait, I don't, no, 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 no. Sorry, matters. I didn't mean to do that. It, I just realized it's just regular mail, not a package. It's just a nice little blue house. How quaint. Ooh, interesting. What? What is it? Is it divorce papers, Meredith? I bet it's divorce papers. <laughs> You're so snoopy. But you can't get in a vehicle. You're struggling there, girl. Do I need to get on the other side? Okay, apparently it's easier to get on from the right side rather than from the left. What are we in, Britain? I don't remember this being Britain. I'm pretty sure this is somewhere in America. You ain't got like no accent either. Okay, this one's 200 Lake. And this one, what do we have here? We have, <gasps> it's a teddy bear. Well, hello there, big cuddly guy. Oh my God, look at it. It's adorable. Even though it's polka dotted and wrapped up. <laughs> <gasps> Look at the mailbox. It's a little kitty. Oh my god. There's a lot of kitty cats here Hello <gasps> They said hello. Hi kitties How many cats are here? One two three four five and what's that one doing up in the in the roof? Just chilling <laughs> You uh you protecting the land, huh? Your name Simba <laughs> That must make you scar I'm keeping my eye on you, Scar. We know what you do. We all know. <laughs> okay, that sounded evil. Why, why did I laugh oh, like that? Oh, look, Genevieve. A new mailman. Okay, seven Hello cats. There. What's your name, then? Hi, Miss Jenkins, right? I'm Meredith. Meredith Weiss? Weiss, of course. 
course. You're Emily's girl, aren't you? This is Meryl Weiss, Genevieve. She used to live in town years and years ago. 22 years to be exact. 22 years to be exact, but who's counting? Apparently you, Meredith. It's been that long? That's almost oh, two Genevieves ago. So that's Genevieve the third? <laughs> Calm down, Genevieve. You're going to live forever. She isn't, but she... <gasps> Miss Jenkins! You do She's right there! Me, Come on! Don't you? Uh, of course, you're the cat lady. <laughs> Uh, I, I feel like I'll be insulting her, so let's go with this one. How could I forget Miss Mildred Jenkins? And her cats, of course. Seems like they've multiplied. Yeah, Shadow Clone yes, Jutsu. Yes, I do like cats. <laughs> Is that such a crime? No. So what if I have slightly more of them than I used to? Like Genevieve here, and Thomas, and Oliver. And the gang. Anyway, did you have a package for me then? You know, get it? Like Th Thomas... And Oliver and the gang, well, Thomas Oliver and the gang, or whatever that's called, some cartoon from my past that y'all don't probably know about because you're not as old as I am. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. I think it's a toy bear. I mean, it's shaped like one and feels plushy. Someone must think you need another yeah, animal in your life. Yeah, we felt it up, all right. <laughs> Bit of a nosy posy, aren't you? <gasps> I'm rude. Frank would never. Feel up the package. Hey, 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 hey. You ain't gonna say it like that, okay? We did not feel it up that way. And it won't hold in court because you got no proof. I apologize. I didn't mean to pry, Miss Jenkins. Hmm. Well, it's probably another gift from my son. Still doing everything to get into my good graces, except actually drop by. I wonder why. I'm pretty sure he's got a good reason. You know, he probably has a cat allergy. That's a good enough reason to not want to visit your mother, right? I mean, it's not like she's crazy or anything. <laughs> right? I'm sure he means well. He's probably just busy. Hmm. That's what he says. That's probably what you say to poor Emily, too. Yeah, all anyway, the time. I won't keep you any longer. Run along, dear. Give Emily my best. Goodbye, Miss Jenkins. Genevieve. Yeah, we got to pay our respects to Genevieve. <laughs> oh, come on, folks. Just drive around. Jesus. All right. On to the next one. Where? Let me see. In a few days, I won't even need that map. Think for yourself. I'm pretty sure I'm still going to need the map. I'm just kind of following the dots. <laughs> Ooh. We're gonna put some gas in the car. Oh, wrong button. Damn it. Why do I keep pressing that one? Alright, what's the gas price? I can't. What is that? $4.12 for. Is that supposed to be 12 gallons? What? That doesn't sound right, even back then. Is it? Then again, I wasn't born. I wasn't even alive in 1986, so that might be right. Uh, why can't we go back in time? Or at least bring the gas price to that Oops. price. Oops, left the package in the truck. Oh, my bad. I started rambling like an old man. <laughs> Ooh. What on earth did these folks order? Is it brake pads? It looks like about the right size for brake pads. Hi there. Pads. I've got some mail for this address. You're not Frank. Uh, yeah, luckily I don't have a mustache on me. Luckily, I don't think a mustache would suit me. Haha, ha, real funny. But that doesn't explain why Frank gave you the keys for the goose. The goose? The goose? Yes, your white and wobbly van, duh. Oh. I'm Lord, <laughs> I'm Providence Oaks. McKinney. Yeah, and I would, I would call it the goose the too. Goose running. Oh, seriously, we're doing my father kind of deal? Is that it? We're just... <laughs> Well, your mama? No, no, no. I shouldn't. I shouldn't go down that route. Well, my daddy owns a damn bank. So man. <laughs> nah. Actually, no. Yeah, her dad is just nothing but the mailman too. Well, Thomas is my father. Does that count? Thomas. Yes, that surely counts. Oh, okay. My father has been teaching me since the day I was born. There is no one better in PO than me. 
And I have to get back to work now. But I suppose you may drive the goose. On one condition. If there's ever anything wrong with it, you bring it back to me, yes? All right. We promise. As I cross my fingers. All right. All right, I promise. Good. Perfect. Uh, did Frank tell you about the radio? No. It currently only receives the local station. Plus, sometimes it cuts out altogether. If that happens, just give it a big old bang on the dashboard and that should fix it right up. I'm working on it, I promise. Are you an electrician? Do you know how to do that? I mean, uh, as a mechanic, yeah, but... Actually, do mechanics actually know how to fix radio? I felt like that was kind of a different thing, you know. Aside from the vehicle itself. Okay. Thanks, Lori. No problem, Miss W. Oh, good. She didn't make us feel old. <laughs> now, now, like Maureen back at the diner. Seriously, girl, why, why you gotta, why you gotta put us like that, huh? Okay, gotta make sure there's no one there before we merge onto traffic. Check our rear view mirrors and side mirrors. Well, I got no rear view mirror because there's this big metal thing blocking the way. <sighs> How do people do this? Actually, I don't think they need to go in reverse. Let me think. Where was Bear Creek again? In here. Through the trees. We're in, deep in the forest where no one can hear you scream and squeal like a piggy. <laughs> Ooh. Nice. Got a little bridge to uh, travel through. And I'm not going to oh, right. turn on the Bear radio. Bear Creek, near the old lumber yard. There's a lumber yard here? Bing bong! Delivery! What do we got here? Very nice. There's a new face. A rare sight for a secluded lumberjack? <laughs> yeah. Last time I saw a human being was about six years ago. That's a lie. <laughs> I am here to deliver mail and I come in peace. I'm Meredith. Thank you. I'm Robert. I hope the peace will be everlasting. Let's see what's inside. Oh, what the... <gasps> Sounds like it's an eviction letter. I'll leave you to it. Have a nice day. Uh, yeah. Thanks, and sorry. It's not your fault this is full of bullcrap. Yeah, I'm just a messenger. Ever heard, don't shoot the messenger? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, I guess we'll just back out. Beep, 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 beep. And drift. Hey, I actually kind of did drift there. Nice. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, almost crashed into the side. I don't want to be visiting, um, uh, um, Crap, what's her name? The mechanic girl. I already... Damn it. I'm terrible when it comes to names. I can remember people, people's faces. But I have, like, the darnest time trying to remember names. Like, it literally takes me <laughs> way too long to try to remember someone's name. I, I, I have to, like, consistently see you and interact with you uh, almost day to day just so I can actually remember your name. Otherwise, if I see you like maybe once or twice and then don't see you again for another week or two. Yeah, that's it. Your <laughs> that name is deleted. It's just blip into the atmosphere. This is a pretty nice lake with a nice view to the mountain. Very nice. Oh God. I, uh, I don't know how that dent got there. We're just gonna ignore that. Is there a dent? No, there's not a dent. This thing is strong. The goose is strong. And why is traffic still here? Seriously? <laughs> Did I cause all this? Or is the game just glitching out? Ooh. Sir, you're an officer. You can get out and just direct traffic. Oy. Well, it's not my problem anymore. This little town is safe from those ravenous drivers. Always honking and beeping. Okay, let's get in within the line. I want to make sure I'm in the line. Perfect. 
And it's a Tuesday evening. Moshi Mosh. Hello. Hi, Meredith. It's Mom. How That's are an interesting you? sweater. How's the job? Hi, Mom. I'm doing great. It's so relaxing to be outside and drive around. Oh, that's great to hear. Dad says it's strange not having to drive the truck anymore. I bet. I mean, you basically spend your entire life, like a third of your life, or is it a quarter of your life? I mean, a quarter of your day in a truck, just, you know, cruising along. I can imagine that. How is Dad? Can he handle all this freedom? Ugh, don't get me started. He went on two fishing boat trips already. And then there's the late night poker with his new buddies. Sounds like he's trying oh, to get I'm away from her. Coins. I'm calling from a bar and dad's ordering a margarita again. <laughs> Ooh. Talk soon. <laughs> That's not like an excuse to just, you know, stop talking to her daughter. All right. Stay home and watch TV. Stay home and read a book. Rotten our brain or enlighten our mind. Me, personally, I like to run my brain. <laughs> hmm. Let's see what's on TV tonight. Previously on Bon Appetit. Has anyone seen Henri? Yeah, he's in the kitchen, unpacking the new tableware. Henri! Oh, sounds like he's an Please, Ashley. Someone call me! <laughs> All right, and I think this is a great spot to end this episode. One full day of work is all we need, right? <laughs> all right, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It, like, it's a very relaxing game, as you could tell. I don't think there's anything, um, at least from what I saw, it's nothing scary. It's just a day-to-day -day kind of life. And after all the games that I've played in the past that had to do with horror and, and being, uh, what's the damn word for it? Not dramatic, not exotic, not platonic. <laughs> I'm just kidding. At this point, I'm just kind of you choosing words that kind of rhyme one another. But yeah, no high, high levels of emotion. You know, I'm just trying to relax. You know, just I just need one of these games every now and then to just pop in there and just be basically mindless. And this is a very simple game and a very fun game. You know, just. Driving around town, giving people their mail, and interacting with them. You know, it seems fun, right? I think so. Uh, but if you enjoy this content, please go ahead and give that a like. If you really liked it, go ahead and give me that follow. Uh, because, you know, I think you should follow me. I'm pretty cool. I could be cool, right? I could be weird, too. I could be brown. I could be... <laughs> okay, no more singing. Uh, until then, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one, okay? Take care. Bye.